you for staying with us on the Joy News Prime. Time now for the sport. I'm Gary Al Smith. I'll be taking you through some news involving uh, Ghana's preparation for the Commonwealth Games in the Paralympic Department and also some local football news and some European updates in terms of the Champions League. Thank you for your time. We begin with the 2018 Gold Coast Games or the Commonwealth Games and one of Ghana's participants will be Rafael Butio in Kegbe. He's the para athlete who is currently the 100 meter champion and he'll be going for games in South Africa to fine tune and he spoke to us this afternoon. Game, as we all know, uh, is a dream for any para athlete or any Evo athlete in the world to be in Olympics, Commonwealth or All African Games. Even though I've been three times for Olympia, this is my second time going to the Commonwealth. Uh, it's a dream to represent your nation in the highest level that you can. So anytime you got this opportunity like this, uh, being an athlete and para athlete, you feel so proud of, feel so honored for all the hard work you have been putting for the previous years. Uh, time to come, this nation will be you'll be raising that flag of Ghana. Preparation aspect has has been going well. Me being a professional elite athlete, I know how to prepare myself ahead of all this competition. I got my uh, I participated in the sanction event in the U.S. That was last year, May. So I was just waiting for the confirmation of my going to the Commonwealth, and it came. But I was training because of I know I'll be going to South Africa yeah. early this month. So I'll be prepared training on the road. Uh, I'll be competing in the 1500 in a para uh, in the Commonwealth game 1500. Uh, so I'm looking forward for it. Even though I'm a sprint runner, yeah. but I'm all run events runner. I can run from 100 meters up to marathon. I, don't, I, I compete with the best. So, and I've been the OCC for almost this is my third time. Yeah. All my second time have been silver, silver. So my aim this day is to stay, to break through together. Nah, goal. fam, you yeah. can't go and win silver <laughs> for the third time. Yeah. So my target is to get a gold for Ghana. As always, we have been making this nation proud through the support of one and two individual this yeah. year we are going to see ethiopia airline they oh, give us wow. three free tickets to get us to uh, cape town then we can continue from cape sure. town to george yeah. the event is happening in george this sunday and then we are george living, yeah george in so we compete on sunday uh, we are going with three athletes uh, Aisha will be competing in the female open 254 53 class yeah. and i'll be competing in the men 254 53 class fantastic what's so, your kick be there in boxing, it's one of the bouts that we've been waiting for in the year 2018. Anthony Joshua is going up against Joseph Parker, and it's on the 31st of March. No matter how hard we train or no matter how much work we put into training, it's the person that's the smartest on the day and probably the person that feels the, the best on the day. Some days you feel good, some days you feel bad, but I think uh, the person with a better plan will get the victory just like these Dolphins, you know? <laughs> Very smart. Yeah. Parker and his camp had to perform a bit themselves to get this fight. Trash talking was out of character for him, but it got him the division's big fish. I think I'll ask questions of him. He asks questions of myself, and, and that's why it's so great, because uh, you know, he's a champion, I'm a champion. We want to unify the division. And we're actually going to see, you know, I'm going to test him, he's going to test me. So that's the exciting thing about it. Osborne the Dolphin weighs twice what Anthony Joshua does. But Joshua's still heavier than Parker. And unlike the Dolphin, outreaches him too. Parker meeting him head on would seem a poor option. So with this fight, we're doing a lot of different training. Um, and we're also introducing new things. Not complicated things, but things that'll make us stand out on the night. So as much as you know, we, we see them do tricks, these Dolphins, we're going to do a lot of tricks as well in front of all those people, you know, and we're excited about it because uh, we have something to show. Learning to fight in a new way carries risks, but if dolphins can learn to paint, maybe anything is possible. In cycling, Chris Froome, despite all the problems with the allegations of doping, is determined to compete despite his, uh, the adverse findings against him. So, I mean, yeah, there, there is obviously, uh, I, I know I've done nothing wrong. Uh, th that, that's, that's, that's my starting point. I know I've done nothing wrong and there's a process in place for me to be able to demonstrate that. And that's obviously what I intend to do. And how important is it for you to be racing while doing that rather than focusing on clearing your name? I mean, it's, it's not going to go any faster if I was, if I was sitting at home. I mean, it's, we're, we're going as fast as we can on it now and hopefully get it resolved as soon as possible. 
people, uh, other riders have been asked their opinion on whether or not you should be racing here. What kind of a feeling have you received from your colleagues in the peloton? It, it really has been great. I mean, I've had so much support from, from fellow colleagues, fellow riders in the peloton. Uh, so I just want to thank all those people, obviously, for, for getting in touch and, and showing their support in that sense. In some African football news, Sandy Olise, former Super Eagles captain and now coach of Fortuna uh, Sittard, has been suspended by the club for what they say has been a hindering and in cooperation or uncooperation with the team. They say they have hit him out for bad conduct as well, even though he went on Twitter to say that they wanted to force him to do some illegal things, as he put it. Former Nigeria coach Sunday Olise, who has been suspended as coach of Dutch second division side Fortuna Sittard for what it says are unacceptable actions. The club put out a statement on their website in which it says that Olise had been put on non-active duties. It went on to say that the latest decision was not a result of the team's current performance. The club have lost their last four matches. Olise has confirmed the suspension on his social media page. In the Champions League, it's the big ones today, Porto versus Liverpool, but especially Real Madrid and PSG. PSG went ahead through Rabiot, who was not expected to start by many pundits, but it was he who got it through um, a Neymar assist as well. And then Cristiano Ronaldo, just about five minutes ago, scored through a penalty, making it 1-1 in that game. Meanwhile, Liverpool are leading at halftime, 2-0 away in Portugal.